Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. I'm Tara with Piece of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me. So today I'm gonna to be doing a deconstructed bloom. I started out with a spinner because I thought maybe I was gonna spin these blooms, but then I quickly realized that I wanted to deconstruct it instead. So um, those are my colors I laid down uh, and I use my hair dryer. This is the Kiss Pro hair dryer. I got it, um, I think I got it at Walmart, but you can get it on Amazon. It's very inexpensive. And I use it with a diverter on low cool. And I find that when I use the diverter on this or the concentrator, uh, I get better blowouts. So um, I know a lot of people out there do not use the concentrator. Um, I know Karen loves uh, her, I think it's a Wazer. I bought that one actually, and uh, I've been practicing with it. So I'm getting better with blowing out without a concentrator, but that does take a lot of practice. So anyway, um, yeah, that is my preferred method is to use the concentrator or the diverter, whatever it's called, <laughs> um, uh, to blow these out. So uh, I have like full disclosure guys this has been sitting in my studio for probably a year and um I walked past this painting the other day and I was like oh, that's really kind of a pretty painting like and then I was thinking do I still have the video from that did I ever post it and I got on my iPad and and in, went into my um, content, my editing content, and I found this video that I never posted. So I am going to share with you this one today. Uh, I really, really like it. I think at the time I was pretty frustrated because as you will see, spoiler alert, um, I have a problem with that center section where it's black and white there, kind of where I dug into the pillow and it kind of got all swirly and weird in between the two blooms. And so I, I think I was just so irritated about that because I loved the blowout on this one so much that I think it just, I just stuck it in a corner and uh, tried to forget about it. <laughs> But what happens sometimes when you do that is you forget that you had uh, these expectations for a painting and you can actually see it for what it is and see the beauty in it. So uh, that happens to me quite often sometimes uh, because I tried, I'm kind of a control freak. I like to be able to control um, what's going on. And with fluid art, you just can't do that. You there's always going to be a, um, a little bit of mystery or a little bit of, um, I don't know what the word is. It's, it's not, it almost never is going to uh, turn out the way that you think it's going to turn out. So that's what I'm trying to let go of. Um, and in this one, it meant, oh, did you see what I just did there? Terrible. Sticking my fingers in and I made the cardinal mistake of not putting my hand underneath my finger as I was running it across the rest of my painting. So I think that's where I went really wrong here is uh, with just being very frustrated with the circumstances on this one in that section. But what this one has taught me is that all is not lost. Um, it is going to be frustrating sometimes and you're going to have to fiddle with things and uh, on this one I actually thought I was just gonna have to start over but um, I didn't so here you're gonna see me take my skewer and I'm trying to camouflage that line that I made uh, with my drippy finger so I just added took the skewer and ran it through to try and, you know, make that not quite so um, noticeable. And with a deconstructed bloom, you're really just tilting and uh, kind of making that 
uh, bloom more like unrecognizable as a typical bloom. And so with the stretching, you get lines, your cells get a little crazy looking, but that is what I love about a deconstructed bloom is that uh, there is you know, you, you don't have to have these perfect, beautiful, you know, blown out blooms all the time. Um, I actually am more drawn to these more abstract. Uh, see, here's where I really get frustrated with that part. And I just start <laughs> pulling that paint off of that area and make making it. I think at this point I was like, I think I'm just going to ditch this one and let's just see what happens if I just let all of this run off in that area. Um, and you can see, I mean, these are not tilts that I typically do with a bloom. And I think that what I was thinking is that I'm just going to get rid of it, get rid of all this paint and see what happens. But then I kind of really liked what was happening on that, where the right side, right, um, area with that beautiful like almost watercolor -y look it was just was so pretty and so I think I was just thinking oh let's see what happens here and I actually I, I turned out you know thinking well maybe maybe I should let this one dry and see what happens so um you know I try to you know, get that composition a little bit more to my liking. And I mean, it, it's not perfect. Uh, there are definitely some areas that I still look at it and think, oh, I don't like that. But when I look at it with a fresh eye, I really can appreciate, like, look at how beautiful those lines are in that, that watercolory look. Uh, these cells uh, turned out really pretty. You get some multicolored cells in there, which are really, really pretty. Uh, and so this one really made me kind of reconsider my thoughts on, um, you know, making things perfect. So make sure to stick around because I do have another video I'm going to show you. Uh, my first part, the blowout got cut off, but um, I do show you the stretching, how it turned out as well. And then I have a third one on here that I show that I didn't get on video, but I do show the dried results. It's really pretty too. Um, all the same color palette. But this is a technique that I will be teaching at the Fluid Art Experience May 23rd through the 25th. Uh, I hope you guys can come and join us. Um, we have a lot of fun instructors, exciting. The classes are very in-depth and um, they're not large class sizes. So you're able to get a little bit more one-on-one -on -one, uh, with the instructors, which is amazing uh, to be able to really um, have the instructor uh, help you and critique you. Um, I will a lot of times help my students just to get a feel for the hair dryers. I'll guide their hands um, and we practice that way. So if you guys uh, are interested in learning this technique, uh, the deconstructed bloom or the bloom blowout, I am teaching them both at Fluid Art Experience as well as um, I'm teaching a couple of texture classes which are really fun um, something new uh, so I'm really excited about that and I am teaching peacock pearls I think there's like maybe one spot left in that class or two uh, and um, also doing a pearl combo class so uh, if you guys have not heard of fluid art experience uh, definitely go check out uh, fluidartexperience.com I will uh, put a trailer at the end of this so you can kind of get an, an idea of what it is. It is in Asheville, North Carolina this um, this May. So really cool destination. And um, we really do hope to see you guys there. Um, and yeah, I, I so this painting actually sold uh, last year, I think, at the Fluid Art Experience. Um, I never even got to share it on my channel. Um, and then here is the third one 
This one is the one I did not get on camera, but I really loved it. I wanted to share it with you. It is now resined and framed. So um, I may be bringing this one to the Fluid Art Experience in, uh, in Asheville uh, for sale. Um, otherwise, it is for sale if anybody's interested. Uh, as is the very first one that I shared with you. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day um, and uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye y'all.